Hello and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by TGT Tutorials and today I'm going to show you how to create the bokeh or baka or bokeh effect as many ways of pronouncing it these days in Photoshop any version I believe works if you have the brush tool present with many different features you can choose on from the first thing you want to do before you get started is find a very decent sized big image so it's not like blurry or anything and you have to zoom in to actually see it the one I've got here is perfect as it gives a very nice effect and it's very big preferably you could also have a darker image so the bokeh effect works even more so the first thing you want to do in this tutorial or what you, in your Photoshop is create a new layer you don't have to name it anything but I'm just going to lay it name it bokeh layer 1 as you can see there so I'm just going to set the brush tool and then go into window and hit brush the hotkey for that is F5 and this is where we're going to create the bokeh effect and all the sizes and where we want the bokeh to go when we paint over the image so the first thing you want to do is go into brush tip shape and set the size to around 130 I'm going to set it to 126 or 127 set to 126 and then we're going to change the hardness to 100 percent some of, some of you are probably wondering why 100 percent but you'll find out later why it's easy to do it that way and then we're going to set up the spacing to 1 to 8 how it is already so it's not like this and is more spaced out into like separate circles the next thing we want um, to make sure we've got is shape dynamics I'm going to change here is the size jitter and the minimum diameter we're going to set the size jitter to 100% the fullest um, the biggest one you can have and then we're going to set the minimum diameter to 0 you can set it to any one you want but zero is the best option if you want a range of different sizes of circles the next one we want to make sure we've got ticked is scattering this is basically going to spread our bokeh effect out when we paint over the image so we're going to set the scatter to the highest possible setting which is a thousand percent and we're going to make sure both axes is ticked make sure this is ticked here I'm going to set the count to 1 and the count jitter to 0 the last one we're going to set is transfer and this is where we're going to set it so the opacity is different on all the spots or dots that we're going to be painting over the image we're going to set the opacity um, jitter to 100% and the flow jitter to 100% as well so now we've got this you could save um, this brush if you want by clicking new and then naming it bokeh or whatever you want to name it but I'm not going to name it as I've already got it um, in my saves so now we've got that we've got the brush tool we're going to increase the size of it and we're just going to paint over oh that's way too big And I'm just going to use white for this tutorial and all you have to do is paint over the image but not too many spots that will be enough so um, we create more layers over it so before we before we start adding any blurs or Gaussian blurs to it we're going to convert this to a smart object by basically going to um, filter or convert to for smart meters or left clicking it and going or oh, right clicking it and clicking convert to smart object this then gives us the advantage of changing the blur on the spots if we want to change it later so now we've got that we're going to go into filter blur and gaussian blur i'm going to set this to around five pixels so it's not too much blurred out and it still stands out from the image now i've got that you can now change it without starting all over again that's why I like the smart filters so now we've done that we're not going to keep it normal we're going to change this one to overlay as you can see here 
Now that isn't enough spots and it's still some missing some features in this background. Apart from being the background being purred out, it needs some more bokeh effect. So we're going to add a new layer. You can call this bokeh layer 2 if you want. 2. And then before we get started, you can convert it to a smart object so we can change it later if you want to. And then we're going to filter, blur. Wait, before we do that, we're going to set the layer. And we're just going to paint over the background again with more bokeh. Now we're going to go into filter this time. <laughs> Sorry about that before. I'm going to blur, Gaussian blur, and set this to a higher blur than before, around 9 pixels if you want. And now we've got that, we're going to set this one to soft light this time. But it's still missing it, as you still missing some effects, as you can't really see the bokeh at the minute. We're going to add one last layer of bokeh. I'm just going to keep it layer 1 because it's wasting time me keep naming them. Set the brush tool, increase the size of this one, bigger than the other ones, and then I'm just going to paint, that tool's too big apparently, I'm just going to paint over this, is that too big, I'm wondering, why is my, yep, yeah, that's way too big, I'm just going to paint over it, one once more time and I'm gonna go into convert to smart object and then go into filter blur and Gaussian oh wrong one box blur Gaussian blur set this to a higher pixel rate if you want but I'm just gonna lower it down to seven pixels and once again we're gonna set this to soft light so now we've got all the bokeh it's still missing something as you can't really see the bokeh over the background so we're just gonna click the background layer I'm going to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. I'm going to set this higher than the other ones until it gives a nice effect. I'm just going to keep going up until it makes the bokeh stand out even more than the background. Around 16.8 works for me. Then hit OK. And now that's all you have to do to get the bokeh effect. How easy was that? Just leave in the comments if you want any more tutorials on Photoshop or if you want a new tutorial in Flash. And thank you for all your support again guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos from TGT Tutorials. Bye.